loses their house due to a flood, a mudslide, maybe even a fire, who knows, but uh, we're going to watch that closely as Hurricane Hillary ascends, descends, ascends upon the west coast and Los Angeles, Hollywood, California area. I don't know what we'll see from that, but who knows, you know, they were really playing this global warming uh, um, psychological operation aren't they so we'll see when uh, the first one of the first videos I posted on Lahaina the fire was uh, why the big hotel uh, on the strip on Front Street didn't get taken down the big beautiful white hotel I believe they call it the Lahaina Beach Resort um, and it it's still standing and it looks like it's still operational even though they can't open it because the police haven't let anybody back down on Front Street yet. So I was on their website yesterday and I noticed that they are closed, but uh, they're ready to fully operate once the police open up the street. Um, and the question remains, everything got torched around it. The, house, the one house didn't get torched beside it, another house didn't get torched, but everything else got torched. And I said, oh, those houses must be the, the governor general or the gov <laughs> governor's house, not the governor general, that's Canada. The governor's house didn't get torched. I was joking, of course, but uh, when we see my friend Emerson's bike ride through the town, um, the burnt out town, he even makes a point, oh, oh, the hotel is still standing. Uh, and I said, why is it still standing? And this video is going to tell you why that hotel is still standing and the answer is uh, in the video so with that said let's keep an eye on hillary hurricane hillary and we're going to continue to report on the uh, nuances and the anomalies of the lahaina wildfire it shouldn't even be called the wildfire really it should be just called the lahaina torching because that's all it was was a chemtrail induced barium aluminum nitrate dosing of uh, fire mixed in with chemtrails. I don't even know it was a dew weapon attack anymore. I just think that they saturated the place with chemtrails and they torched it. That's what happened. One downed hydro wire and it torched the grass and then they whipped up the hurricane force winds from the uh, observatory up there in Maui, University of Hawaii. And they torched it. They got torched. Anyway, we're going to keep an eye on that. But this video tells you why that hotel remains standing. That's Mark at Global Agenda. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Ciao. See, like, the fires jump from... The winds were blowing over 100 miles an hour straight down, so straight west, and just ripping through from Lahaina Luna down into Front Street. With he lives in Lahaina Luna, he lost everything he stayed to fight, help him fight the fires. His neighbor was an off-duty firefighter and they were watching, they were watching pink six foot strands of insulation. You guys know like the foam pink insulation? Yep. Light on fire, fly 200 feet in the air and land on other houses and ignite them. Uh, and so that was a big thing was insulation flying through the wind and landing on the roofs of other houses. It's really weird, but some, like, some of the houses are spared and some weren't and you'll see like among the rough, there's two or three houses wow. standing. Yeah, like their their roof. So that right there is wind. Yeah. So these shingle roofs are rated to maybe 70 miles an hour. Didn't 
burn certain houses, burned others. On this side of the Heine Shores, a couple of these houses made it. Not on the other side of the street from them. Heading south. Everything from here to the highway just about is gone. A few houses here and there that may have made it. Lahaina Shores is standing. Looks relatively untouched. Maybe some cosmetic damage on the one side. This side of Lahaina Shores, a couple of these houses made it. Not on the other side of the street from them. Shores, a couple of these houses made it. Not on the other side of the street. Heading south. Everything from here to the highway just about is gone. A few houses here and there that may have made it. Lahaina Shores is standing. Looks relatively untouched. Maybe some cosmetic damage on the one side. side of Lahaina Shores, a couple of these houses made it. Not on the other side of the street from them. 